Bro? Tuco takes no chances. When you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you should have taken your own advice once or twice. I was just passing by here. I said to myself, I wonder if my brother remembers his brother. <laughs> Oh, these are brothers. Interesting. One is a criminal and the other is a religious man. The contrast. What about our parents? Only now do you think of them. To begin after nine years. Oh, damn. A lot happens in nine years. Maybe they he lost his parents and doesn't even know about it. Nine years! <laughs> our mother has been dead a long time now. Our father died only a few days ago. He asked for you to be there. Damn. The brother has a right to be angry. Shit. Outside of evil, what else have you managed to do? It seems to me you once had a wife someplace. Don't poke the bear. He definitely is pissed off. You talk of our mother and father. You remember when you left to become a priest. I stay behind. Damn. A Tuco has a lot of history in this movie. I just thought he was like a common bandit, but no. He is well developed You became as a, character. a priest because you were too much of a coward to do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so much for being holy. God, smack the shit out of his holiness. So Eastwood is like, damn, I was wrong about Tuco. I thought he was just a side character. Looks like he has the character development of a main character. Well, after a meal, there's nothing Family. like a good cigar. <laughs> Will he actually smoke his cigar? Wow, progress. This is the weirdest friendship I've ever seen. I'm just so scared that they might shoot each other in their sleep once the other finds out the info. <laughs> what a bizarre set of circumstances. I am in. This is my very first Western and holy shit, I am in. Gray. Don't tell me the bad is somewhere in the middle of that posse. Oh, troops. Hurrah for the Confederacy! Hurrah! Down with General Grant! Don't show your ass so much. God is they with might... us on the ACA show! <laughs> they might figure Hurrah! out you're not one of them. Oh my god. They thought. Oh my god, no. What a twist. This movie has so many plot twists. The guys were covered in like some type of powder. Forward! Oh no. Now they're prisoners of war. What the shit. <laughs> Bro, they're heading for some type of makeshift concentration camp. This is just perfect. The irony is that they're not even soldiers. Bill Carson! Oh no! I did think that the bad dude is here. All right, what's he doing? Sleeping? <gasps> he is on the lookout for Bill Carson. Bill Carson! <laughs> oh no! They're all LARPing here. He's LARPing as the enemy soldier. They're LARPing as the friendly soldier. What are you doing? <laughs> He found his man. The wrong man. I like big fat men like you. When they fall, they make more noise. And sometimes... <laughs> Tuco and his big fucking mouth. The captain wants to see you right away. Be sure these two get good treatment. Damn. He's ha he has some words for them later. And some bullets. Oh god, this standoff is gonna be so weird. Did you hear that? Good treatment. Yeah. And something's too good to be true. It's not. Yep. Bill Carson, there it is. Oh, wait a minute. I think he got that Bill Carson right. Uh tiny purse from the Bill Carson. <laughs> the fraudulent Bill Carson. Come on in, Tuco. Don't be bashful. There's no formalities here. What? He knows his name? Tuco? How? Sit down. Eat. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this shit is poisoned. 
<laughs> Damn. Togo is very careful. Good for him. Would he take the drink, though? It's good to see old friends again. Oh, damn. Pardon? Even I'm a little terrified now that may maybe the drink is poisoned, maybe the food's poisoned. Am I turning into Tuco? You were captured near, um, Fort Craig. Well, if you were with Sibley, that means then that you, uh, were coming from Santa. <laughs> just took the whole damn dish. I do the same. Why are you going under the name of Bill Carson now? One name is as good as another. Not wise to use your own name. But you chose the perfect name, the name he was looking for. Bill Carson's a fake name, huh? A fake too? It's Bill Carson's tobacco. Probably gifted to him by Maria. He took a sniff of that. <laughs> oh my god. Clint Eastwood better come to the rescue or he's never seeing that 200,000. He doesn't know the cemetery. <laughs> oh my god. That fat dude has a lot of power. <laughs> Bro, Tuco might actually die in here. I'd actually feel bad for him. I grew to like him. Was Carson dead or alive when you found him? <laughs> what did he tell you about the money? Say alive, say alive, say alive. He told him everything. <laughs> That is so disrespectful. You gave him a belly full of food and wine and then smacked <laughs> smacked him right in the torso. More feeling. Wow. The music is like masking the sound of the torture. You can sure consider yourself much luckier than your pal. Wanna yeah. so much your friend as long as the song goes. The song is a... It's just a distraction. I have nothing to tell you. <laughs> Oh god, Tuko does believe in revenge though, so if he gets out of this... Oh no. Oh no. Forget eye for an eye, this guy is about to be like, fuck both your eyes. Which grave? Shit. Blondie. He knows the name of the grave. Can you blame him after getting the beating of a lifetime and about to lose his eyes? But would he get away with beating the shit out of Clint Eastwood? Because he's got fast hands, though. We're going for a ride. Where? I know the name of the cemetery now, and you know the name of the grave. But where is Tuco? Did they kill him? Uh, You're not shit. gonna give me the same treatment. Would you best bet? Would you bet on it? Not that you're any tougher than Tuco, but you're smart enough to know the talking won't save you. Maybe he's like, you're too pretty to beat the shit out of. Your face is just like looks maxing to the max. You've changed partners, but you still got the same deal. I'm not greedy. I'm only taking half. Nah, he's taking full. There's two of us. Should make it easier than just one. Like, Tuco is a little bit, like, a little crazy, but this guy is a psychopath. There's no way he's giving him half. I mean, come on. I told you once, friend, if I ever get you down, you're gonna need a lot of help to get up again. Tuco means it. God, this guy loves his revenge. Slow. <laughs> he's sleeping with one eye open around this guy. <laughs> Smart man. If your friends stay out in the damp. What the fuck? They're liable to catch a cold, aren't they? Or a bullet. Wow, that was fast. This guy's got the reflexes of a cat. Come on out here. Oh, they're his men. Oh yeah, he was not, wasn't taking any chances with this guy. Since we're all going in the same direction, might as well go together. Six. Seven divisions of two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, sure. I got six more bullets in my gun. <laughs> Mr. Bad actually likes him. He's like, man, we could be partners if you didn't know the location. The two hundred K. 
wonder what you could buy with 200k in this kind of time. Maybe a whole town? I don't know. Ooh, fat man is sleeping. Time for your escape, Tuco. Sure would like to put your paw on it, huh? Oh. I would like to face this rough. I've been shaking up in the strain nearly 10 hours now. You smell like a pig already. <laughs> Damn. Dude is ruthless and a light sleeper. I can't while you're watching me. It's that famous line from The Mummy, too. That kid was like, I can't do it while you're watching me. <laughs> oh my god. You made a lot of noise, my friend, huh? Oh no. You killed a really, really fat man, though. Gotta drag him around in the desert. <laughs> nah. You're not doing that. Ay, Dios mio. <laughs> Better cut off your own hand. Or the dead man's hand. Oh, bro. <laughs> Tuco has been alive for this long. Hanging by a rope and shit for a reason. This man is smart. I wouldn't have come up with that. I would've been like, fuck this, I guess I'm gonna die. That's a really slow train, though. What about your head? Ooh. That was so close, though. Imagine if this hadn't worked and he was just dragged along with the fat dude. He would have ended up under the tracks. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm essentially cheering on a bunch of degenerates, aren't I? What am I doing? But I can't stop. I can't stop rooting for Tuco. I can't stop rooting for Clint Eastwood a little bit. And also Mr. Bad in some way. It's like, what is wrong with me? I guess it's because they all have the Riz. Riz is everything. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> There's Tuco. <laughs> Looks like he made it. Yeah, he's gonna follow Mr. Bad to that grave. He has a bathtub to him? All by himself? Wow, he's gonna smell like... Uh, he's gonna smell like us for the first time, I think. Oh my god, bath salts and everything. Oh, this, is, this was a lady's bathroom. Oh no, oh, someone's in here. Poor Tuco. Can't get a rest, can't get lunch, can't shower, take a bath or anything. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? I've been looking for you for eight months. Whenever I should have had a gun in my right hand, I thought of you. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Bro? Tuco takes no chances. When you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. <laughs> Looks like you should have taken your own advice once or twice. I think he learned it from the cannonball incident. He, he talked and talked and talked, and then God rescued Clint Eastwood. <laughs> it was so funny. My man interrupted him, came to get his revenge with one hand, probably trained for years for that moment. Oh. And <laughs> only to get shot from inside a bathtub. Oh my god. That gun is probably not gonna work properly anymore though. This guy's probably gonna get the same treatment. It's gonna interrupt him while he's pissing or something and it's over. These people don't pause and speak or anything. Bro, another one. Tuco's never gonna get a second's worth of peace, is he? Just a minute! I'll be right can't there! Fucking bathe Just himself. give me a little time to get dressed and I'll open up! 
he's not dressing up. <laughs> no. Put your drawers on and take your gun off. <laughs> it's like I can't see you like this. This is too much. We're not that friendly yet. You talked, you traitor. You talked. No, you talked. He didn't say shit. Do only you know you have the secret? <laughs> Blondie, I'm very really happy you're working with me. But there's someone behind the door, okay? Just dress up. Back. Oh, listen, uh, he's not alone. There's five of them. <laughs> Tugo just has flashbacks of another fat man beating him. They shot him at close range. They got some balls just hanging out in the middle of a war zone like this. There's two of them. I want that blonde alive. Yeah, the blonde one is the only one that matters. He's got the intel. Oh no. <sighs> There's too many. Tuco's not gonna get out of this without help. Were well, you gonna die alone? <laughs> Imagine that, an unlikely friendship. It's finally happening. Review break time. Well, le first of all, let me just say this. For my very first Western, I picked a goddamn perfect fucking movie, okay? <laughs> now that I got that out of my chest, let me just talk about the film. It was interesting to watch, like, a, a, a calm and scenic environment brew something sinister in the corners. It's like broad daylight, you know, like, um, there are no cars, no horses, no rush, and yet it just feels like some kind of trouble is right around the corner like all the time it was like a unique feeling for me you know like uh, it strangely it kept me on the edge of my seat because i can't relax even in like a relaxing environment also this movie is plot twist galore i mean whatever you expect to happen it's just like turned on its head even the shot of like a uniform worn by someone from a distance covered in white ash is used as a red herring or even the end scene where you expect a character to die like a painful death i gotta give mad props to the filmmaker to the writer for writing such a tight script for its length where like no scene was wasted i gotta admit i don't know what a spaghetti western is or what the general consensus of this movie is so please feel free to educate me in the comments but i gotta say this is one of the most rewatchable films of all time and i can't wait to watch this again and also watch more westerns in the future oh no Not quick enough, dumbass. <laughs> I love the fact that he always just like gestures to God. Like, I'm really sorry, but he had it coming, you know? Yeah, they're doing, they're, they're taking their sweet time hiding and like moving slow because they, they know that Clint Eastwood is a little too quick with his fucking hands. Did they just get blown up by a cannonball? What? Ooh, it's dusty as shit. <laughs> Man, this war is like working in their favor. The good and the ugly. Oh my god. Oh! Can't believe he fucking whistled before shooting. <laughs> They're too slow. They're too slow. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Oh, I gotta watch more westerns. This guy moved too slow. Damn. So there's one, two, three, four dead. Angel eyes is mine, huh? There's one more, right. I think. And uh, Mr. Bad, who's, who's equally as good. <laughs> Not gonna be that easy. Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> See you soon, I idi idiots. <laughs> Man, Mr. Bat is waiting at the cemetery. <laughs> Poor Tuco. I hope he gets his revenge and his 200k. I just realized he's probably smelling better than Clint Eastwood right now. Probably smells of like lavender and bath salts. Hey, I got a good sense of where I'm going. Tuco has taken you this far. I will take you all the way to Ah, oh, shit. It's soldiers. 
Yeah, there's no chill anywhere. You just walk into a corner and then there is like <laughs> fucking hell, an army or a fucking posse or Mr. Bad waiting. It's interesting that this movie is also happening in the middle of a war. The war is the backdrop, but also taking a big part in this whole like scheme to get 200k. Like I I have to rewatch this, but also at the same time research what's happening here. You know, as a foreigner, I'm kind of interested. Any reason for being around here? Uh, we we want to enlist, General. Are you for real? <laughs> You gotta take a test to prove it. What's the test? <laughs> Is it that easy to enlist? Or do they have no choice? Well, show me. Yeah, he's gonna drink the whole bottle. You've got a career. <laughs> he's like, yeah, this guy is really? sure. right up my alley. Not the other one. He's too, like, brooding and silent and good looking. Well, this, sir, uh, is the most potent weapon in war. <laughs> <laughs> His breath must reek. <laughs> it's a court martial offense to imagine to even to think of destroying that bridge is just... <clears throat> Man, this dude has a lot of animosity towards that bridge. If I could do it, I could save many thousands of men. But what I like is the guts. Is he asking them to blow up the bridge so he can be out of his misery of being on the other side of it? That bomb was way too close to that boy. This is a movie after all, but holy shit, that extra was about to die. <laughs> Come on! Holy shit, bruh. Oh, these guys are about to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat over this fucking bridge. Hey, Brandy, it looks like the captain is really asking for a bullet in his guts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness they didn't get to enlist on time. They're just enjoying a show. They're enjoying a war movie from the sidelines. Wow, I can't imagine the amount of money that was spent for this scene, just for this scene alone. I have a feeling it's really going to be a good, long battle. Tuko is not even watching the show. He's just dreaming about the 200k. Money's on the other side of the river. Yes. Where? <laughs> Amigo, I said the other side and that's enough. <laughs> They're not even worried about what's happening around them. They're just like, let me get to that cemetery. What would happen if somebody were to blow up that bridge? And these idiots will go somewhere else to fight. Like the captain said, if someone just blew up that damn bridge. <laughs> Gave him an idea. Oh. oh! They're just sitting right next to explosives. <laughs> he was smoking right next to it, too. Hurry, a stretcher! Oh no, the captain's... Yeah, he's about to die. They might as well blow up the bridge. Fulfill his last wish, you know? Well, this will help. <laughs> it's like, here you go, sir. Have your favorite beverage. Right before you die. <laughs> oh my god. They probably beat the shit out of an injured man too, these dudes. They are idiots, like Mr. Bat said. Oh my god, they're carrying this fucking box of explosives. <laughs> they really said, fuck these injured people. Fuck these injured soldiers. You realize we might be risking our lives? If I get killed, you'll never get your hands on all that beautiful money. <laughs> You wouldn't either. You don't know where the cemetery is. Why don't we tell each other our half of the secret? Why don't we? You go first. Well, you guys don't trust each other. If you're not, like, working with each other, you're trying to kill each other. You start. Such a toxic marriage. <laughs> the name of the cemetery is... He's really gonna come out with it? What? 
Sad Hill. Now it's your turn. Wow. I didn't think that Tuco would be the first one to, like, extend an olive branch. His name on the grave is... Don't fuck with him now. Arch Stanton. Ah, ah, Arch Stanton! Wow. A real brother moment. <laughs> <laughs> would they even reach the oh okay they did <laughs> oh my god that was a really sweet moment they trusted each other with their secrets they did it they actually did it wow <laughs> you can die in peace thank goodness I actually fucking did it. <laughs> and they told each other their secrets. And Pinky promised not to kill each other. Wow. Growth. Okay, I'm rooting for them. I don't care if they get the money or don't get the money. I hope they stay friends. <laughs> Tuko's just there with his ass hanging out. Okay, this is fucking overkill now. You're just cannonballing each other with no bridge. Calm down. Oh my god. <laughs> Tuko just slept like that? With his ass out there? Bruh. Beat this guy, I swear. I don't even care about Clint Eastwood's character. It's like, whatever, you're cool. You're, you're silent, broody type. Who fucking cares? <laughs> Look at Tuko, man. What the fuck? What is wrong with him? <laughs> I hope he survives this movie, okay? If he dies, I am never watching a single western again. I'm boycotting westerns if Tuko dies. I'm, I'm really not, but I'm just saying. I love him! <laughs> His legs fell asleep. Because of his position. Ah, Tuko. He really went for that. So much for like brotherhood. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Tuko's like, shit. I really have to work for him. <laughs> I have to work with this guy. I'm telling you, this movie has so many plot twists. It's crazy. Did he actually land on Arch Stanton though? Whoa. No, it's the cemetery. Look at the number of graves here. How <laughs> will he ever find Arch Stanton? It's gonna take days to read every marking. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna go mad. <laughs> I'm. I can guarantee you, Mr. Bad has already been here, strolled through this entire graveyard ten times, and found it. Oh man, <laughs> I will lose my shit. He actually found it! Wow! <laughs> Arch Stanton is his best friend now, not Blondie. He doesn't even have a shovel. Wow, did he actually dig through it? What is it? Is it a box or a coffin? What is it? <laughs> It'll oh be a my lot easier God. with it. He's like, you motherfucker, he tried to con me. Don't do it! Guy's already built a relationship here. You'll each be like rich with a hundred K and also you have Mr. Batty on your ass. You're gonna need each other. Oh! <gasps> Speaking of... I knew it, I knew Two he was can here. Dig a lot quicker than one. <laughs> they both made Tuco do the hard work of finding the grave. 
fuck. <laughs> cool dudes indeed. If you shoot me, you won't see a cent of that money. Why not? Why? Because there's nothing in there. What? <gasps> the Arch Stanton thing was a fake. He lied. He didn't trust him with the... You thought I'd trust you? We're gonna have to earn it. Oh. He's smarter than Tuco. Or dig the entire fucking cemetery. I'll write the name on the bottom of this stone. My gun? Damn. I feel bad for Tuco. He was like, I trusted you, brother. <laughs> Even though I <laughs> backstabbed you right after. <laughs> and ran for it. I can't believe there was actually someone named Arch Stanton in this fucking grave, even though it was fake. Wow, he's just toying with both of them. What is he doing? Oh, is there gonna be a standoff? Wow. So at least uh, that means only one of them will be left standing. That's sad. Man. It's really sad. I was rooting for all three of them. The trio. Not Mr. Bad that much, but... ah shit. If it's Tuco that's left standing, <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> he earned it. At least a little bit of the 200k. It's like, who's gonna reach this stone first? That's gonna be the game, I guess. I'm so tensed up. My ass is clenched. It's the first time I've actually seen Mr. Bad sweat and shake a little bit. Damn. Shit, the suspense is killing me. Oh. What? Why is his gun jammed? Oh, he didn't kill the ugly. He didn't kill Tuko. Oh my god. Dropped him in a already dug up grave. Work smart, not hard. <laughs> Mr. Ugly is like, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck happened to his gun, though? You pig! You wanted to get me killed! When'd you unload it? Oh, he unloaded it. Damn. In this world, there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns, and those who dig. <gasps> the shade! You shady bitches! He's like, I'm the man with the gun, and you're the man with the shovel. <laughs> so work, boy. <laughs> oh my Here. god. There's no name on it. Unknown. Oh, he's a little illiterate, but yes, see, he was able Bill to read Carson Arch Stanton me. quite clearly. The grave marked unknown, right beside Arch Stanton. Oh, that's why he knew the name Arch Stanton. Go ahead. He shot Mr. Bat so many times that there is no way he's gonna like jump out of the grave, right? Right? Is it there? Oh it's actually there. So much gold. Oh, oh my god, it is. They weren't kidding. Bloody, it's all out of Blondie. <laughs> what? Don't tell me Blondie is. You're joking, Blondie. You wouldn't. Don't you dare, okay? You made that man dig. I want you to stand up there and put your head in that noose. Okay, Clint Eastwood is the real villain of this movie. He's the real bad guy. I can't believe it. You made that man dig. You gave him hope. You made him feel like a rich man for like a second. He trusted you with his secret. Bro, you asshole. Can't believe you would do this. I hope you never get to enjoy that 200k. I hope the IRS gets you. War for you. <sighs> War for me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll calm down. I'll calm down. All right. There's a- the final plot twist is happening right now. But- oh my god, this is like insult to injury. Gave him all that gold, but also put a noose around his neck. You fucking asshole. You son of a bitch. He should have actually been dehydrated. He should have died of dehydration. This is actually so cruel. I know he almost made you die in that desert, but bruh. Sorry, Tuco. 
Why couldn't you let bygones be bygones? He's like, I still don't trust you. But I guess Tuco is a little shady, is he? Don't, 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 don't. Fucking hell, don't move. Please tell me he does that trick, though, from the, like, from afar when he shoots the rope or something. What's he doing? Oh. I'm actually- I'm, I'm gonna bitch slap him. I swear to god, this is so cruel. Bruh, come on. <laughs> Wait, why did the sound just disappear off of my- Oh my god. I'm sorry, but like, maybe my headphone just died on me, but I can't hear anything. <laughs> okay, something happened. By the end of it, my sound just got cut off. Or maybe something was wrong with my copy, but I'm reeling with so many emotions right now that this is not gonna do it justice. I've been sitting here for three hours, so like, give me a second and I'll be right back, okay? I'll, I'll gather my thoughts and I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for watching The Good, The Bad and The Ugly with me. I hope you enjoyed and now I want to know from you guys. What did you think about this film? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What are your opinions on westerns in general and what is your favorite western movie? Let me know in the comments below and you know me. I interact with every single comment so leave in the comments below your thoughts and of course if you want to watch the full reaction to this or if you just want to support this channel you can at patreon.com slash nation or you can make a one-time donation at buy me a coffee at Shree Nation. You can also become a channel member by hitting on the join button next to the subscribe button. Consider subscribing for more videos like this and subscribe to my second channel in case anything happens to this one. I also post detailed documents on events that happened in Hollywood throughout history so be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and maybe if you enjoyed this you could enjoy this video or this playlist. Do check them out and thank you so much for watching and I hope I didn't waste your time. See you next video.